year. The 10th anniversary of 9-11 is just around the corner. And David Rutherford is a former Navy SEAL uh, joining us here this morning. And you've got a big thing coming up later today that folks can go to. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first of all, talk about your experience as a Navy SEAL. I mean, we've seen recently with that helicopter crash, uh, Navy SEALs are guys that, and, and, and people that put their lives on the line. It, it was absolutely the greatest experience of my life, for sure. I, I spent eight years in, in the Naval Special Warfare community. community. I was a, a SEAL recruit. I was a SEAL medic. I was an operator. I participated in clandestine operations around the world and uh, spent some time in Afghanistan right after 9-11 in particular. And it just is one of those things that it, it shapes my entire existence by just learning about the self-confidence and the ability to totally commit to a team-orientated lifestyle. So now you have a, you have a message that you are go, you're going to be talking to some schools and you've got a big event tonight. Talk about your message. You're a motivational speaker. What is the message <laughs> that you want people to know? And this isn't a, this isn't get your, off your butt and enjoy life. This isn't your typical <laughs> motivational speaker where no, you get motivated. No, you you refer to all. yourself as a madman. I am the madman on so stage. Talk yeah. about what folks can expect. Listen, I, uh, my whole thing is is I, I'm here to basically introduce people to Frog Logic, which is the name of my company, Frog Logic Concepts. And the whole idea is to expose these incredible lessons that I learned in, in the SEAL community to, to kids and to corporations and to people and to adults in order to enhance their self-confidence on a daily, on a, in their daily lifestyle. And then once they have that, to be able to commit totally to a team-orientated lifestyle that I call team life. So that's what it is. So give me a, an example of a lesson. Okay, missions. Not lessons, we do missions, missions okay. all right? All right. You gotta make it applicable, all right. So mission number one is have a positive attitude. So one of the sub points in, in mission number one is, is no whining, okay? So if you come in in the day, you can totally decide whether or not you wanna be positive or negative. But that first little time, maybe when your coffee's not warm yep. or, or, or maybe she, she doesn't hit her mark or doesn't <laughs> laugh at one of your jokes, <laughs> then you, all of a sudden your attitude switches and you let that fester and it just ruins everybody else's attitude out there. So that's really the, the, the challenge is have that positive attitude every single day, all day, because it's free. You can choose to do that. And speaking of free, tonight, 6 o'clock, uh, you have a big event. Anyone is welcome to come. Absolutely. It is totally open to the public. And, and I just want to really put out a, a, a special thanks to Avera and Colorado Tech University, and in particular Jeff Frowan, who, who is totally responsible for making this huge, massive presentation happen. And uh, this is kind of the culmination of a, a, a year's worth of uh, idea that I've had. And it's, uh, I'm going to be hammering two guys on stage. They're going to be wet and sandy. There's going to be audience participation, <laughs> push-ups on stage. It's going to be over the top. You don't want to miss it tonight. Uh, the we want six you. Six o'clock. <laughs> 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 I can't wait. This is going to be good. Tonight at the convention center, 6 o'clock. David, thank you so much. It's thank an honor you. to have you. Thank you for everything you've done and continue it. to do. Uh, Nancy, you can't go wrong here. <laughs> huh? I'm scared into a good attitude. <laughs> and, Jeff asked me, every day. and Jeff asked me if I would be one of the you know, people that would do some of the training. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm old and I have a bad back. But I'm all for you. <laughs> I am. I'm coming up on